In this Cadence customer success story, we travel to Cambridge, England to meet the team at Raspberry Pi to chat about the new compute module and the new I.O. board. Hi guys, you're joining me today with James Adams. He's the Director of Hardware Engineering here at Raspberry Pi. And on the wall behind us, we've got loads of pictures that people have sent in from all over the world about their Raspberry. Tell me about this campaign, James. So this was, uh, this was a poster competition we ran. Um, uh, we had some free pies to give away, and uh, basically we asked children to send in um, send in their, their, their posters of ideas of what they wanted to do with their Raspberry Pi, and uh, we sent them a Raspberry Pi in, in return. <laughs> and uh, you can see some of the results here. We've got uh, solar powered pies and cool. uh, sound sensing pies. I mean, you know, we've been we've been quite uh, touched by all the all the different um, things that the children have sent in, and obviously it makes a, a great display on our on our wall. <laughs> yeah, superb. Now, the Raspberry Pi, if anyone doesn't know about it, could you give us a quick overview of what it does? So the Raspberry Pi is a, a small Linux computer. Um, it's, it, uh, it runs Linux on a Broadcom processor called the BCM2835, for, for those who care, um, which has an ARM processor and a GPU, uh, which does lots of heavy lifting for graphics and video. Uh, and the Raspberry Pi itself, uh, it's just like a small computer. It's got USB, it's got HDMI to plug into your monitor, um, and it's also got uh, power, which is a mobile phone charger you can use for that, and the SD card, which it also has, is used as the disk. Um, and it's cheap, $35 uh, for the Model B Raspberry Pi. And uh, we found that people just, you know, used it for so many different things. Its original purpose was as an educational tool. Um, to teach, teach kids how to program, so something that was cheap that could be given to children, it's their own thing that they could use to uh, and break if they're like, you know, it was a cheap thing. Uh, but it's been adopted by the makers and hackers community and the Linux community <laughs> and it's just, it's just gone massive. So yeah, it's gone massive. Yeah, we're really amazed and, and humbled, I think, by yeah. the success of, of, of this product. It must be a great feeling. I know, I know there's, a, there's other boards similar to this out there. Uh, but by far, Raspberry's got the, the huge name, so yeah, congratulations. I, thank you very much. I, I think it's a combination of uh, the, the, the charity and, and the mission that people identify with and the fact that we've got such a fantastic community now mm -hmm. helping out uh, and the website and the blog, and, you know, it's, 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 it's got lots of different bits of special sauce, but, you know, long may it continue, we're very pleased that it's such a success. Uh, we adopted uh, Cadence PCB Editor um, for various reasons. I mean, it, it, it fits well. Um, I've used it before, found it to be a good tool. Broadcom use it, which is also helpful because they, being the designer of the processor, they can, we can also sort of sh share um, data yeah. um, in the same format. Um, and yeah, so our, our new products are all designed uh, in the Cadence tools. It is effectively a Raspberry Pi on a small board, yeah, right, the okay, guts of yeah. a Raspberry Pi on a small board. Uh, we call this the Raspberry Pi Compute Module. Okay. We've seen a lot of people build Raspberry Pis into things, uh, <laughs> and the Raspberry Pi is great. It's got a fantastic sort of um, stable software stack now. There's been a lot of work to improve it. it it's, a, it's a great little thing for internet, you know, adding in internet connectivity and a Linux box with, with, um, with Wi-Fi. You know, there's lots of things you can do with it. Uh, so we've done the hard bit, which is the complicated PCB to house these uh, basically chips that are designed for mobile phones, so they require um, uh, careful engineering to make them work. The, the pin sizes and the PCB technology required is, is, is quite high tech, mm. but what someone can now do is take, take this board, which is high tech, mm -hmm. but they can buy at a low price, put it into their lower tech, much lower tech board in a cheap socket, mm -hmm. and then they can make their product. So you've pretty much taken the the connectors and everything that was on the original Raspberry, reduced the size slightly, and then made an I.O. board that has got USB, HDMI, power, um, but and, and, and range of connectors. But this, you're saying this I.O. board could be pretty much anything that anyone wanted to do. Yeah, design. so we're, uh, the product that we are going to sell um, in volume is, is this little board. We also produce this thing we're calling the I.O. board, which is basically a starter kit for people who want to use this module to design their own products. So mm -hmm. this board 
further breaks out the pins. It, it gives the module power, which you have to do. It then breaks out the USB, the camera and display interfaces, serial camera and display interfaces, HDMI, and all the other GPIO pins. So we expect someone to buy one of these boards, mock, um, sort of prototype up their product uh, by attaching the things they need to, you know, test it's all working, and then they can go and spin their own version of this board however they like. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, we're, we're pretty excited about this. Excellent. Okay. Now you had a, a, a student in as an intern that did a board as an intern. Yeah. Project, so, is that right? So we had. We, so this is another little. This this isn't a Raspberry Pi product intern project, and he, he spent basically three weeks designing the board, and it pretty much worked first time. We only have one mod wire here. Okay. Well, <laughs> so, and that was the first time he used Caden's PCB editor. Yes, that was. Yeah. So, so he had a small amount of support from me, and he basically went away and did did this project, and we were we were very impressed. Superb. Yeah, no, that is good. That's some. Um, I mean, it. it uh, and there's some freeform routing in there. Yeah. So we've got we've got um, a matched uh, phase um, differential routing in there. Mm -hmm. um, various power and the, the 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 chip on the front. The the converter is a, a fine pitch BGA chip. Okay. So, yeah, he really did a good job. <laughs> did he have specific rules underneath that BGA? Was it, were you necking down, or did you keep the, the pitch the same? Yeah, no, we we we, we had the, the the yeah the small rules are under the under the BGA, and then it's nice to be able to just have standard stuff mm. externally. Yeah. Brilliant. So three weeks from start to finish, and uh, never used cadence before. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone tells me they can't use it, I'm, I'm gonna send them one of yeah. these. <laughs> yeah, no. He, he did a he did a cracking job. Yeah, that's really really cool. Uh, so this is the uh, Raspberry Pi compute model um, CAD file. As you can see, there's, this is the main processor, and there's an awful lot of uh, tracking. And actually, the biggest challenge with this board, uh, because the compute module gives you basically all the I/O of the chip rather than just a subset on the Raspberry Pi, we had to track, you know, all the all the pins out effectively, and that was that probably was the majority of time spent was doing that on the, on this board. Uh, so we've actually got an eight layer, eight layer board with you know various four full layers of tracking and and um, ground planes and power planes. So it's it's a, it's a, it's quite a complicated board. I really like the parallel system support. Lots of good videos and uh, tutorials. I use it quite a lot. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. And you, I mean, I know you've got a uh, closet full of things that people have. have have shown you. Should we go take a look at some of those things? And yeah, sure. Let's, let's have a wander around the office. Cool. Yeah. So this is this is our, our table of stuff that people have. Some of the stuff that, that people have sent in. Um, we've got a lot of uh, cases for Raspberry Pis that uh, people have made. Um, there's a little FPGA board here that plugs onto a Raspberry Pi. Uh, we've got our um, Babbage, our mascot. <laughs> What's his name? Babbage. Babbage. Yeah. <laughs> um, this uh, the the phone box. First Raspberry Pi to go up uh, on a on a weather balloon. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, up to um, just over thirty thousand kilometres. Goodness me, look at that! Wow. And what did it do when it was up there? Take a picture or? So yeah, I think it, it had a it had a USB webcam, so it was taking <laughs> taking taking pictures and video and, and sending sending them sending them down. And I think when the box was collected, there was also more on the SD card. Superb. Um, Sony, who manufacture our Raspberry Pis, are obviously very pleased that that we've you know we've we've done such volume.